we're gonna make it happen last night wasn't good it wasn't terrible but it wasn't good Give you guys an idea of where I'm at. I am here up in Bethlehem, PA, and I'm right here at the Sands Casino up here in Bethlehem, PA. So I decided to come over here and stop, go in, play a couple of hands. It wasn't all that good. It wasn't wasn't all that good. The the players here were local and they just they they just was just playing a friendly game of poker and i kind of got intimidated by it so i actually became the villain of the table every time it would come around to me i would always raise Not certain as to whether or not Ellie's comment had anything to do with it, but Ivy has pumped it up to 20,000 total with pocket sevens. So, let's not let's make this interesting. Since you want to chase me, I want to make you pay for it. So, pfft, raise. Just like that. But uh, today's topic, y'all, today's topic. You want to get into today's topic? Let's get into today's topic. Well, check it out. Today's topic, man, comes from this website uh freight waves and they're talking about the dangers of daylight savings time for truck when you think about it it is so let me get into uh let me get into what they say about it spring forward fall back so the second week of march is upon us and which means all but 250 states, Arizona and Hawaii, shift their clocks forward one hour to what's known as daylight savings time. This happens at 2 a.m. Sunday morning. So everyone lose an hour of sleep before they wake up Sunday morning. Even though it's only an hour, the disruption to sleep patterns, sleep depri deprivation, and the and the decreased alertness level results in higher rates of fatal accidents, which increase 17%, along with heart attacks, which jumps to 25% on, a, on the Monday after the shift to daylight savings time. The pros and cons of daylight savings time. So what do you guys think of that though? What do you, what do you guys think of that so far? Um, why I'm telling you guys about this, I want you guys to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video and hit that bell on the way out the door. Depending on who you talk to, you, you'll most likely get a very mixed reaction to the benefits of daylight savings time. It has been around for over a hundred years, but with little evidence to substantiate the or the original energy savings resulted from daylight savings time with more recent evidence pointed to adverse health effects from the twice a year time change many ask why is it still exist the original idea of daylight savings time was to have more daylight in the evening and less in the morning in which the process reduced energy consumption by increasing the amount of natural light. People opposed to daylight savings time suggest that it's outlived its usefulness with the rapid advance of energy saving technologies, including smart lighting such as LEDs, which use about 75% less energy when compared to traditional light bulbs so why do we still have daylight savings time fatal accidents and injury rise in summer for truckers so what do you guys think of that 
I mean, what do you guys think of that? Something to think about, right? I mean, do you agree that we need daylight savings time? I mean, for me personally, it don't bother me. Being the truck driver, you that's what you get, that's what you guys gotta do. Y'all gotta get used and adjust to things out here being a truck driver. You gotta get used to having abrupt sleep habits, abrupt sleep patterns. Be at a shipper at at two o'clock in the morning, but you already up during the day. It's kind of hard to try to go back to sleep to make that appointment and then drive overnight whatever time you got left. Losing an hour of sleep does not seem like a big deal to most non-shift non -shift workers. But to an already tired truck driver, the impact of daylight savings time is always significant and sometimes deadly. This week in particular, things will be especially tough for truckers as their bodies adjust to the new timing of light and dark. As we head into spring, we are seeing signs that freight volumes are increasing with truckers running more miles, working more hours, each day. This is good news and bad news for the trucker. The good news is more miles, more hours means more pay. The bad news is that on top of losing an hour of sleep, the daylight savings time shift is that it's dark when drivers are commuting to start the day shift. Sunset now happens later in the evening, delaying sleep, inconsistent start times, long work hours, and commutative fatigue. The fatal accident and injury rate for commercial truck drivers start to rise as we move out of the winter when it's more dark than light, more time to sleep, and into the warmer spring and summer months when there's more time, I mean more daylight, less time to sleep. So what now? What? Sleep is not a complicated process. We're designed to go to bed when the sun goes down and wake up when it comes up. Anytime we extend sunlight later into the evening we simply delay sleep onset throughout the abundance of the ambient light which is the brain's primary cue to be awake put simply the sleep gate won't open if the eyes can still sense daylight unless of course that there's a bad case of sleep deprivation at work here daylight savings time simply exacerbates the situation. Physiology of sleep tells us that humans are hardwired nocturnal sleepers. And even though that there are hundreds of partying rhythms, 24 hour cycles, that drive the sleep-wake process, light in particular, blue light, is the single most influential factor in determining when we sleep and wake. This is why the shift to daylight savings time has such a profound impact as the timing of blue light to the optic nerve shifts one hour. But yeah, there you have it. There you have it. The dangers of daylight savings time for truckers. I did not realize that it was really a danger, but obviously it can be. I'm gone, I ain't coming back You gon' have to settle with another man But when you realize, don't be 